Hello and welcome to this week's episode. I'm looking at the bill, the recent bill. Hopefully this bill is going to be my last winter bill and I'm going to look at the bill and see where I'm using a lot of electricity for anyone who's not a heavy user. I've got energy monitors for the dryer and also for the office uh, heater in there. So I'm going to look at and dissect this bill and probably look at last year's bill as well without um, when we're still using gas and compare really slightly. So stay tuned. Let's go to the office and have a look. <laughs> Hello. Uh, welcome back. I'm in the office now. Let's have a look at the bill for from the 11th of January 25 until the 10th of February. So as you can see straight away, how much we've used 365 pounds that's what i've used and it's broken down like this in the official bill so i used 1340 kilowatt hours for the off peak which is charging the two cars so i'll show you again as you can see i charge almost every day bar one or two days that I don't but this month you know in winter because I've got two EVs we swap them around we charge one we skip a day when we charge the other one then we charge so we used 1340 we do travel a lot so all in all our monthly um, fuel for the cars is 90 pounds then looking at that as well we the peak was 946 which was 244 pounds that 31 days 46 pence per day the standing charge which again that has not come down even with the war in ukraine or whatever that has not come down we used to pay around 20p on these so it's double what it was um and my unit rate for the day for you know peak was 25.81p per kilowatt hour and the off peak is 6.67p, 7p really. Um, this is what my January to February bill was. Then I'll break it down again in terms of, I wanted to see more. So when last previous year, this is my first bill, my first winter with uh, a heat pump. So last year we had gas. So I'll show you the bill for the gas there is the bill for the gas you know from same period but it, it changed a bit you know the bill came on the 16th so the period is the same 10th until the 9th 261 for electricity and gas was 113 so again in winter it goes up because we're heating the water in the house the only difference that i've seen is i've used less 998 kilowatt hours for the off peak and i've also used less the electricity so that because there it was 29.55 as well it's now 25 at the minute so that's the two differences even if i take the two up you know and convert what i've used this time around and um compare it with the 29p instead of the 25p the difference is about 279 you know the difference is about 30 pounds or so but i'll break it down again in terms of what i have been using in terms of i've got a, a monitor for the electric um heater which is here um and that if i pick up the bill for that the electric heater in January I absolutely changed at the very same time as we got the bill for last month so I put it I put the monitors at the same time so that I can see my office heater has used 164.6 kilowatt hours in January from the 10th of January as it says there until the end of the month then I also used another 65.79 total is 230 kilowatt hours for that heater so if i take that some of the 
hitting some of the those kilowatt hours are off peak which is let's roughly say six hours of the day which means it's a quarter of the day so 230 divided by a quarter of that 25 percent which means we used about 172.5 so 172.5 of that is on peak our peak rate is 25 point, 25.81 times 0 0.2581 which means the electric heater cost us about 44 pounds 45 pounds a month that's what the electric heater has cost me so breaking it down like this i hope it will help someone that is thinking of using a having a heat pump you know so that you can see i'm a heavy user i agree with that so roughly what you would spend for your winter bills you know might be slightly lower for me because i'm using more in electric charging which is about 7p but i use more with this office heater and we also winter we use the dryer during the summer we we use the washing line you know to to dry the clothes but in winter we do dry using the dryer so 45 pounds this office heater has uh, cost me then when i look at the dryer as well i've got the dryer dryer this is the dryer so for the first month of january it used 27.17 again from the same time because i put them on the same date it used 27.17 plus the nine or ten days in february in that time it used 15.9 so 15.9 plus the 27.17 we used 43 these 43 i used during peak so we dried during peak so we take the 43 times 0.2581 that cost us 11 pounds so 11 pounds of that is the drying during the month and the other 45 is um, my electric heater which is in the office so all in all plus 45 56 pounds is from my heavy usage really so all in all if you do have a heat pump it will you use slightly less than you know you pay slightly less than what i do so i'm a heavy user so if you take that 56 that 365 less uh 56 pounds 310 pounds so if i didn't have the which i do have that cost me 45 pounds and the drying cost us 11 pounds that is 56 pounds less the 365 on my bill which means i've used up about 310 pounds here and there so those that's part three of my winter bill so i've broken it down for everyone so that you know you can see roughly how much you'd use going forward i was looking at my bill again analyzing it to see roughly if there is anything that i can do so i'm looking at getting a battery you know to use in the winter as you can see my peak usage is around the 30 mark each time so i'm thinking of getting probably a 15 kilowatt hour battery then use that during the day it will have will be 122 so that will bring it down a bit more and i know there'll be some that are asking you know how much that battery will cost me and what's the payback i will do all that i'm still in researching stage i will look at every single bit of that and see how it works thank you for watching and that's the part three of the winter bill and i hope now as you can see now it's half past four on the 21st on a friday and the sky still looks blue out there so hopefully you know we are now coming out of winter into the sunshine yay